everybody, it's uh, Richard here and me, and welcome to the Nerd Life. Now, this is our Monday Q&A video coming out on Tuesday. Well, we're making it on a Monday. We're making it on Monday. That, that, that's close enough, right? Right? Mm -hmm. yep. Well, we were out of town this weekend, and I didn't get any videos out last week, even though I recorded a bunch. So that just means I have videos for this week to get out. <coughs> Amongst other things I've been working on and doing. Busy, 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 busy. And we got a vacation. We're you pulled it up over there. Yeah. Hmm. Might be helpful for you. Okay. You need a laptop, huh? No. Can you read it? She's got eyes like an eagle, or like a hawk. One of those ah! That's a hawk noise. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, um. <coughs> Not to do an update or anything. We, we're still trucking along with all the stuff we're doing. Her business is getting amazing. Not like it's we've sold a lot, but it's just it's looking really good so it's far. It's transforming. Yes, it's coming together well. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the uh, into the always fabulous brand. Yes. It's all about branding. Like the inside of my mouth feels like it's been branded. It has nothing to do with me. No, or my still, brand. It still hurts, though. But that video will be coming up shortly on my page. Yeah. See me being stupid. So if you're wondering what's going on with his mouth. Stupidity. Anyway, so let's get into the question. So we have Graham answered a, or uh, said something on a video from last week's video. Or the week before last video. So I went ahead and went back to it. Um. So... Let's see what Graham said. Oh. Sh um, an alternative idea to keep shipping individual. What? No. Someone ready? Yeah. Why'd you snicker? I don't know. Let's keep going. To keep shipping individual packages to the UK slash Europe would be to work with a UK agent distributor who could ship them on your behalf maybe even find a UK based supplier too. Questions of the week. Car question mark. The Batmobile, either the original sixties version or the Tim Burton Corvette based one. Coolest car ever. Sure, Lipstick. It's a good car. Um a sedu sexy, seductive red and call it something like C S L or D S L red. C S L slash D S L. Um let's just say that the L stands for lips, and I'll leave the rest up to your imagination. Ha ha ha. This is G rated, not really. G rated. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. Gotcha. Now we're going to go right into last week's questions with Graham again. If showing affection for your family isn't family friendly, then I have no idea what is. Right? She got really animated on that one. American Gods. Neil Gaiman, you're right. I don't have an iPhone, don't actually have a smartphone. I'm largely happy enough with my old Alcatel flip phone. I know what you mean regarding the speed at which storage space gets munched these days. I've almost filled up a t four terabyte disk with around another five or six terabytes sat full. It's ridiculous. What are you filling your, your terabytes up with? It's a lot of stuff. You don't even, he doesn't. But he doesn't even have a YouTube channel. Like he doesn't even like make videos. You know, so like he may make other kind of videos. Oh. oh. To go back to the lipstick, right? Yeah. Um, innuendo. What? Me? That's just nuts. Actually, it reminds me of a similar and purely innocent conversation I had at work a few years ago. Now, I love pears. You can probably already see where this is going. Female colleague sat eating a rather tasty looking pear. Hmm, nice pear. Dinks, hang on. That didn't sound good. I like a nice pear. Dinks, Graham, you're just digging the hole deeper. Best retreat while you still have a job. Fortunately, the innuendo was either missed or ignored as it was obviously unintentional. She said that she'd bring me some in, but she never did. 
Aww. For my part, I see everyone creaming over the new Big Space Marines, and I just think, meh. I'm what you call very underwhelmed. I think they're kind of cool. I, I just, I'm just looking forward to new stuff, I guess. So I guess that's the question of the week. Yep. Favorite season? I wouldn't say I have one per se. I have likes and dislikes of all of them. Um, favorite season here? Spring or fall. Yeah. I love spring because, like, literally everything is so gray and just, uh, and then all of a sudden, like, you look out the window and it's green. Yeah. And it's so happy because, like, you missed green. <laughs> um, and then it's it's literally just a couple weeks. Yeah. And then it's over. Because then everything's brown from the heat. Brown. But then you get so, you get really used, used to, like, the green and the brown. And in the fall, you really start to enjoy the oranges and the yellows. And it's cool and you can go outside again. So. Yeah, those are about my two seasons, too, because it's, it's most comfortable to sit outside. Summertime, you're like... In wintertime, it's just sometimes it gets cold. I say fall chill and cold. Scary models, um, all of them, I guess. <clears throat> I don't really like building models or painting them. I just like playing with toy soldiers. So I tend to get intimidated by most of them. If for no reason other than I know that odds are at best, I'll get part way through and lose momentum, interest patience with it, and I'll spend most of the rest of its life only partly finished if I even get as far as starting it. That's fair enough. I don't model. She models every day for me. You see these clothes she's wearing. They're fantastic. I like, uh, uh... Fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, oh she just kicked herself in the crotch. Um... I like building models. That's like my favorite part is just building them. Painting them is fun too, but sometimes painting can be a real chore. But definitely building them is my favorite. Idic Beer 40K! Sorry, she's Facebooking. Enjoyed the show, thanks. I like the winter best. Although a nice sunny day is cool. Not really afraid of building. I thought like I just need teeth. Any models, but I'm nervous for when I have to paint my Harlequins. If transporter technology was real and you had one in your house, where would you go? I'll show you. Wherever, anywhere, all up your house. I mean, like if you could only go one place ever, and like that's it, you're done. Like you, like you're stuck there. It's a one-time transportation. Australia, because I don't, I don't think I'd mind. Wouldn't mind living there. In the right parts. But everything in Australia tries to kill you. So. Oh, no, man. The hard questions. It was a two-way thing. Like, we've, I think we've had this question before, like, similar. Um, and we had said it'd be like a, a telephone. Like, you'd ring up your friend. You're like, do, 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 do. And they'd have to accept your phone call, your teleporter call, to let you come over. Because otherwise, you'd be... People will be teleporting over to your house in the middle of the night, and you're like, what? That's my butt. So. That went weird. Next. Super War Gamer. Oh, nice video, my friend, and I don't even have a mobile phone. <gasps> He's not on Facebook either. <gasps> what? So he's on YouTube. Well, yeah, because YouTube's cooler. Does he make videos? Yes. How do you make videos? With a camera and a computer? You mean you make videos without using a phone? You just blew her mind. Do you have a landline? Please tell me your phone is at least cordless. I want to know. At least cordless. We used to have a phone at my grandfather, my uncle's house now that has that phone that cord that can reach anywhere in the house or well it did i don't know if it still does but it, it used to at least for a few years ago that about 15 20 foot phone cord next thank you sir for the czar i was gonna make you say that czar 
for the Nar. I already said it. You wanted to throw me off with the TSAR, right? You thought I'd be like, no. I'm not going to do a thing. 30? Is that an even number? I'm new to your channel. Frost and Fist recommended you. I was thinking about the three. She was doing twos, and I was thinking two doesn't go into three. That's why I was saying that 30. We're back. Hey, I got edited. She didn't get edited. I did, I did. I'm, A no. phone call came in. No, the now truth the rant's of, over. All truth be told, she was starting to hit me, and she was mad at me for calling her out on there, and we just had to stop it. That whole thing got edited. It kind of did. Thank <laughs> you, Marriott Hotels. Yeah, just stupid phone call. Oh, no. This is not a sponsored video. Yeah, anything but sponsoring them. Oh, no, I think they're Mormon. Are they giving us free rides on their Marriott boat? Do they have a boat? A <laughs> Marriott Loot Cruise Line? No. I think Marriott's the Mormon one. I think it's the one you can find the Book of Mormon in. Oh, wow. I think that's, you just asked permission to put that there. No. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, anyway. Um, uh, kind of Frost and Fist recommended you. <clears throat> I'm starting to explore. To answer your questions, as I think about it, would say my favorite season is spring. It's getting warmer. Everything is coming back to life. As for the model, I would be most afraid of I would love to tackle someday is the Warlord Titan. Question. What is your favorite army and why? Tau. I love their aesthetics. I just love the way they look. And for your wife, how did you two meet? Well, I went in for a tattoo. He designed it. His friend tattooed it, and while I was getting tattooed, I was whining like a baby, and he was like, eh, suck it up, buttercup, and I like a bigger guy, so I was flirting. A lot of flirting. A lot of flirting. Mm -hmm. She came back in the next day to complain about the yellow. Yeah, because he didn't put yellow in it. And we flirted a little bit more. And then more flirting. And then more flirting. And then finally just... I was in like with you. He was in like with me. And then lots of after hours hang out time at the tattoo shop. Sometimes pants came off, but we never did anything. Then engagement and pregnancy. Uh, yep. And severe hate. And utter and severe extreme hate. hate. She probably would have slipped my throat if oh, she Oh, if I could if have murdered him, I totally would have. Um, and then like two, almost two years later, back together. And mm -hmm. here we are, 11 years tomorrow. Really? Today's 11 years Mormon tomorrow. Two years Mormon tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I thought, <clears throat> I thought today was the 30th, so. It don't matter. We always forget. My mom is the one who reminds us. Whatever. It's our anniversary. 11 years. And she still won't slit my throat. Mm. Only on Tuesdays. Only on days ending in the word day. <laughs> Only on days ending in Y. Anyway, so that was kind of like a really rushed version of how we've met. We've gone into detail on that yeah. before, but um, and it does get a little spooky, creepy, sappy. Wow, that's awesome. Y'all must be meant for each other. I mean, look, we got our family all behind us. Mm -hmm. We all really do love each other. We really do. I mean, uh, as much as like he drives me crazy and I hate him, and sometimes I really just want to run away, I can't. That chain's pretty strong. Uh, who took my dice miniature working with? Oh, yeah, sorry. And welcome to the channel. Yeah, welcome, sir. And if you're looking for another stupid channel to follow, not that this one is, but, uh, follow mine. Family Fun Sessions. Um, who took my dice miniature wargaming? Another fantastic vid. Great answers. Questions. What superhero team would you like to be part of? What time period would you guys like to visit and why? Keep it up, you two crazy kids. Um, superhero team X Men. Because they're like mutants, and so they have like powers forever. One versus like. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Batman, who doesn't have powers. I don't know where I was going with that. I started thinking I was like Spider Man. No, yeah, anyways. <laughs> Whatever. I, would I don't want to be an Avenger. <clears throat> <laughs> um, 
Guardians of the Galaxy would be fun. You're on different planets. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Okay. I say that. Oh, Guardians no, of the Galaxy. You're already on one, kid. You're screwed there. And then, um, what time period? Um, I really like the medieval time, but we've gone over this before, too. Like, I mean, only if you're, like, royalty, but only a, to a certain extent. Um, I was actually hearing the other day they were talking about the history of dental work and, like, dentists and stuff. And they said, you know, back in, like, medieval times, the rich people actually had worse dental health than the poor people because... They could afford sugars. Hmm. And so they actually, mo mo you saw more uh, dental work and like fake, like dentures and stuff in rich people, you know, back in history because they were the ones who actually, not, I mean, could, they could afford that, but then at the same time they needed it more because they had more sugars. But anyway, enough about that. Well, this goes back to my minutia love for her. Too. <laughs> She's full of random knowledge, you know. So I might have a crush on you too, Graham, because you have a lot of knowledge in yourself too. I know, right? It's so <laughs> random, but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, so yeah, but medieval times I like. If I and then if I had to choose another, it's a toss up between like the twenties and then like the fifties, because I really like that like just that seems like that romantic era of you know just like yeah. Speakeasies and <clears throat> gangsters, and I don't know because it probably really wasn't so fantastic. But when you think about it that way, and then the fifties of like the housewives and like those yeah. are good ones. I I'd visit them with her, but I want the Wild West. I don't know why, just because that's like the growth of the country. You know, you're kind of watching it kind of come together there. It wasn't a really good time for women, although. <laughs> They say that women um, founded the West. I wouldn't doubt it. We were the reasons there were towns. That it was actually, you know, the women came out and they were the brothels to take care of the cowboys, and they they truly were the ones who settled the West. So but again, we were brothels. So. And then uh, uh, the forties during World War Two. I don't know why. I just think it'd be interesting to live during that time and see things and just. <laughs> It's interesting to be a soldier during the war, too, you know. It's Memorial Day, so it's kind of been, like, on your thoughts. And I've been reading a book about the concentration camps. That's really crazy. I know, that was just, like, kind of all over the place with our time zones. But. Yeah, it was. It was like, we're going to visit every single period of time. Put it up. Um, okay. Fire Breathing Ducks. That's just nutty. <laughs> Great video. As always, entertaining and insightful. Thanks, dude. Atomic Dog Scale Model Freak. Nice Q&A. I heard the green skins will benefit a lot from the 8th edition. Is this true? Do you think certain armies will adjust better or worse than 8th edition is out? When 8th edition is out. Take care. Game on. Uh, I think... I, I haven't read the stuff on the, the orcs yet, but I heard that they got a gr pretty decent boost. They're going to be pretty good. But then that's what I've heard a lot, too, is a lot of the weaker stuff from 7th edition is going to get boosted up. And some of the heavier stuff is going to get brought back down a little bit. Um, everybody, I, I don't know about everybody, but I keep hearing rumors of a good balance so far. And I don't, I just don't see that being the way it ends up going in the long run. So, But, yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a – the orcs are going to be doing really good in 8th edition. As far as anything going down or getting worse, it'll probably be the Eldar. And I, I don't know about Tau yet either. I haven't looked at any of the Tau stuff. So. Thank you, sir. Drake's War Channel. Thank you for your work, guys. I always enjoy your ideas. What are your thoughts on modern era miniature wargaming like Battlefront Team Yankee? Are we beginning to cross a line between work and play when we simulate real-world battlefield conditions in a practical manner? <clears throat> I, this goes back to my thing about historicals. I, I love wargaming. I love the idea of it. It's really fun. But I, I do tend to like to stay to the fantasy and the sci-fi stuff. Because when you start playing that real aspect, you're actually, in a weird way, like, say, World War II games. Um, you're playing the Battle of the Bulge. 
You know, there was a specific winner in that, a specific outcome. And if you're playing it, say you're playing as the other side, the enemy, depending on whoever you are and how you look at the situation, if you win when you were to, would have lost, it kind of just, I don't know, it throws a weird whack into history that kind of just it messes with my head a little bit. Um, and I think that's what these, with the modern games, too. It, I don't know. It just, it, it, it again gives that weird feel to it. You know, I mean, I guess I like playing Call of Duty games because it's like on the com Xbox and stuff, but that's straight up not real. It's just a game, you know, and the storylines and stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know. I guess in the long run, I'd have to play it and figure it out. I'd probably take a twist to it and turn a whole story awesome. some way. Your face smells good. Yeah, it smells good in here. Probably going right in for the bath. Frost and Fist! Thanks, Drake. Excellent video once again, my friends. Oh, it's funny how well certain cues work with our kids. The mom look definitely shut things down in the show tonight. At our house, because Lily deals with the kids most of the time, they mind well 90% of the time. But once in a while, they just won't listen. I turn on dad voice, then boom, they're back in line. I try not to use it too often so they don't get immune. Take care, guys. Much love to the fam, as always. Wolf, wolf Brother Mythos. Yeah, dad voice doesn't work. I, I think it goes back to they hear it too often. Right? Like, yeah. I mean, for a while there, I was always gone. I was always working. And so I'd come in and I'd be like, rip. I was about to change it to, like, you need to stop what you're doing now. You're going to get in trouble, okay, Dave? I will slit your throat. In your sleep. If you do not pick up the trash on the floor. Nope, nope. We got hostile. Tone it down. Tone it down. Oh, sorry. Keep it monotone and happy. We're going on a trip on a Sessions RV trip. Zooming down the road. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Sessions road trip. Yeah, that was yeah. very creepy. We're just sharing. By the way, we're not going down there. Yeah, sorry guys, we're not going down south. We're going northeast. What? Or northwest. Or north. We're going north. Let's just put it that way. We are going north-ish somewhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Where are we going then, bro? Where? Where? Ish. We're north ish. Ish. We're going to the Ozarks. What? Ish. Like I made some meatballs one time and they said put a little sugar on them. Oh gosh. I don't know, they just tasted a little Swedish. I don't know. Not not, not really that good. Uh, that was Dad jokes are great. <laughs> Guys, that's it. That's all I got. This is this is kind of. I am thoroughly refreshed from my trip, though. I, it made me feel good. I had a blast getting out into the country. Uh, I do have a weird Wednesday recorded. I'm gonna finish it off tomorrow, so that way I can put it up on Wednesday. Um, I do have a couple of videos. I have a journey into Ford's world. I worked. To, I is ready to go. I just need to edit it, finish it, and put it on, upload it. So I'll probably do that for Thursday. And then I have another special video that's a thank you to somebody um, that we'll throw out later on, too. So, um, questions of the week. Perfect getaway. Would it be out in the country? Wooded areas, like a lot of trees and stuff, to the beach? Or what? What is your perfect, absolute perfect getaway? Like, and, and like, seriously, like, total dream getaway. And I'm going to tell my wife in a minute about a getaway someone's having right now this week that I'm a bit jealous of. But I'll tell her in a minute. What? Do you have a question? Someone's selling a crawfish table. That is a gaming table. But it's got two buckets in the middle of it. Oh, it's got buckets in it? Oh, because it'd be a gaming table, too, it's though. It's a crawfish table, because it's got buckets. There you go, there you see the buckets. Okay, uh, my question. So the summer is coming, and I need... <laughs> uh, summer? I'm doing things with the kids on my channel. This is the plan. What? 
ideas. Yeah. So either um, a subscription box, just one. Or um, that could serve a little bit of money. Businesses haven't fully took off yet. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What kinds of family fun would you like to see on family fun sessions? Even challenges like kids challenges. Kids challenges. Good kids challenges. Like what kind of video? No, like, I'm asking too many questions. Farts. Bean boggle. I really want to see. I lost it. I want. This is where I would go boop and I cut all that out and redo it. But that's no fun. That's more fun than this. Guess who caught 20 fish this weekend? Not me. Just say it. No, Sophia. Sophia caught 20 fish. Show them! My nine-year-old caught 20 fish. No, I'm not nine. You will be in a few weeks. I caught five. You were so close, Daddy. Anyway, guys, we love you. We thank you so much. And we do love them. Stop it. What? Stop it. Guys, we love you. We thank you so much for joining us. Sorry this was late. Um, we'll try to get back on track next week. Um, we're just really busy and really trying to have fun. He won't make look like it. Keep rocking that nerd life, my friends. I'll see you next time. Stay fabulous. I love you. <laughs>